Now, the other interesting part of what he used here, this mechanism in here is parts of a Norden bomb site used in the Second World War. And then he has a drive mechanism on the other end, uh, I'll show you, that is from a mechanical slot machine. So he started working on this thing and he put seven years into putting this thing together. There's a lot of interesting things going on. Here you have a round gear driving a square gear and an oval gear. And we have we, we have a malfunction on it here because this is supposed to be oscillating up there. And I've been able to figure out and fix it. And that's bothering me because I'm starting to understand the darn thing now. <laughs> but usually it's it's a gear is slipping or a set screw is out of adjustment. That's a part of an oil pump out of a motorcycle. Oh, it is? Yeah, he really utilized a lot of things there. The ball on top is actually uh, manipulated by this device that's intermittently turning, but these are cams. So one cam will go to the high point, the next one will go to the low point, so it causes the ball to roll this way oh, yeah. most of the time. When it breaks down, one of the hardest things is resynchronizing that action. And see it stopped again. There, there's something something coming out of alignment down here. But that gives me job security. So he called he, he, he decided to call it the do-nothing machine. <laughs> and we had a gentleman in a few months ago and he looked at it for uh, quite a while and he said, you know, there's a lot going on here with no results, you ought to call it Congress. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah. Oh, that's good.